Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel Mann, and in this video, I'm gonna take you through a really cool wreck dive I had with two Finnish guys in Denmark. One of the things I love about diving in different places in the world is the people that you meet. Often they do things extremely differently to you and it's easy to criticize and disregard them at first. However, if you're smart, you can learn a tremendous amount of information by watching people that do things differently to how you do them. Whilst in Denmark recently, I was invited by two Finnish divers, Thomas and Sammy, to go dive a wreck with them. Obviously, I jumped at the opportunity to go film these guys in action. I'd heard rumors and stories of these guys in Finland in the winter diving stones in 25 meters of water, one meter visibility, one degree water with torches shooting cod under stones. Absolutely mental. I really wanted to see these guys in the water. I've dived plenty of wrecks in Australia and most of the time the fish are hanging off the top or just on the sand line. And if you can locate the wreck and the fish are there, they're pretty easy targets. The same goes for Denmark. However, as soon as you start shooting one fish, unlike Australia, they hole up. Whereas in Australia, they tend to bugger off and you never see them again. This is Sammy's first dive on the wreck. And as he peers over the edge, the cod are out in the open. A nice four kilo fish easily follows us to the surface. Thomas knows that the fish will soon go deep inside the wreck, so he dives with torch at the ready, but something catches his eye. Cod aren't the only large predator found on wrecks in the Baltic. This magnificent 4.05 kilogram pollock was the new Danish national record. This here is an example of a cod that I found holed up in some rocks a few days earlier. Now it may look easy to just try and take a shot straight at this thing, but you have to remember that this hole is really small and it's much smaller than the actual fish. You have to be mindful of how you're actually going to get this fish out of the hole and not just injure it. Now Sammy's back down there scouring the wreck section by section. He spots cod during his dives, but he wants to investigate all possible angles to give him the best chance of recovering a fish successfully. Wrecks are known fishing hotspots and consequently they can end up with a lot of line, rope, fishing nets and fishing line stuck all over them. You have to be really careful when you're diving wrecks and as always, make sure you carry a sharp dive knife to get you out of any trouble that you may come into. As you can see here, there's a massive pile of lures. This wreck has been fished a lot. Eventually, Sammy finds exactly what he's looking for. I was wondering why Sammy left his spear on the bottom and didn't try and recover the fish in the same dive. I soon found out why after a quick chat on the surface. To wrestle two big cod out of a wreck requires a lot of physical exertion. Sammy knows he's going to need a good rest on the surface before this attempt. Thomas was obviously all fired up after seeing Sammy shoot two of these fish in one shot. He was straight back down there scouring the wreck section by section, looking for the best vantage to pull the trigger on a cod.
Now that's what I call a textbook dive. In the Baltic, not only will you find cod in the wrecks, you can also find ling, coalfish, and pollock as well. With a few nice cod in the icebox, we decide to do some espeto dives to see if there are any fish lurking in the perimeter. The first dive we try sitting on top of the wreck to see if there are any fish passing over the top of us. There was nothing coming through, so we decide to sit on the bottom next to the wreck to see if there are any fish attempting to get inside the wreck. We see some shadows of fish in the distance, so next dive we head off a little bit wider of the main structure. You can see here Sammy moving only what is absolutely necessary to make the shot, his arm and his finger. Certainly not the largest coal fish in the sea, but at one kilogram, this size is perfect for grilling hole on the barbecue. They taste magnificent. As I said at the start of this video, I love diving new places with new people because I always learn something. The biggest takeaway I had from this dive trip was patience. The fact that these guys go down on a dive, see a fish and choose not to shoot it straight away for fear of not being able to remove it from the hole, then going to look at different places to get advantage from, the fish could be gone, but I think it shows a lot of maturity in their hunting technique and their mentality that they are willing to let a fish go rather than injure it unnecessarily. I think that's a really great mentality to have and something that I aspire to. Having enough maturity to let a fish go because I know that I might not be able to successfully take it. It's a hard thing to do, but ultimately we all want to injure less fish and take more home for us. That's all I got for you on this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. And if you hated the video, be sure to hit that thumbs down button twice just to be really sure that I get the message. And I'll see you on the next one.